I have an interesting riddle. Consider the following statements. Statement 1. Elvis Presley will always be dead. Statement 2. Michael Jackson will always be dead. Now consider the following. Which celebrity will be dead the longest? One would probably initially say that Elvis Presley will be dead the longest because he died first. But I want to bring up something called Dedekind's theorem to complicate this question and make it not so easy. Dedekind's theorem is a law accepted in the mathematical community that states a set is infinite if and only if it has a proper subset that is equal to itself. In other words, if you can find two infinite sets and one set is a proper subset of the other, then both sets are actually the same size. Now if time never ends and the universe goes on forever, we can say that the length of time that a man is dead can be classified as an infinite number of seconds, minutes, whatever measurement you want to use. I think that's reasonable. We'll arbitrarily use seconds in this example. So the length of time in seconds that Michael Jackson is dead and the length of time in seconds that Elvis is dead are similar infinite sets. Also, the length of time Michael Jackson is dead is a proper subset of the length of time Elvis is dead. Because Elvis will be dead just as long as Michael Jackson has been, and then some, since he died first. So, by Dedekind's theorem, if the universe goes on forever, the number of seconds that Elvis Presley is dead is exactly the same as the number of seconds that Michael Jackson is dead. No more, no less. My question to you is this. Does Dedekind's mathematical law make sense in this example? Are you really going to believe that Michael Jackson and Elvis are going to be dead the exact same length of time? Again I ask, which celebrity will be dead the longest? I await your answers.